Read the disclaimer, damn it. And support the official release. Fucking hell! What sadistic person would commit such a crime? So I totally burned that bitch to the ground. <laughs> Did you save me the bodies of anyone caught in the fire? You really are the bottomless oaf I took you to be. If you actually believed, I'd look around a filthy corpse for your benefit. Anyway, the full metal fuckboy got wise to Marco's research. One thing led to another, and I had to take care of some things for father. With that issue finished, how are you handling things here in East City? <laughs> what? What is it, boy? Is a boy trapped in your stomach again? No, I'm sorry, Jack. Did you find Scar? That's a good boy. I can smell him. I get to eat him, right? Ugh, fine. Just don't get any blood on my dress. Bang, 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 bang. seen since our last encounter. Either he's deep inside Central, or he pulled out a long time ago. Zing, phrasing! <laughs> uh, but seriously, I hope that's the last we'll ever see of him. Come again? Oh, come on! You all are doing it on purpose now! If I can close this case, my name will be on the books for sure. I have a ladder to climb, and this is how it's done. Soon I'll become Fuhrer. And we'll have sweaty sex right in the Fuhrer's office. <clears throat> I mean, I look forward to that day, sir. Anyway, what are you all thinking for lunch? I could use some coffee. Again? Report it in, sir! We've just gotten word of an explosion occurring on a nearby river in the city. Civilians were caught in the blast! I should care... why? The explosion took out the only Starbucks in town! <gasps> Do you think it was a gas explosion? Honestly, I don't get paid enough to give a shit. No doubt about it. It was Scar-related. Has anyone found the body of the sick bastard? Not yet, but we're still searching. Regardless, he shouldn't be doing too good after losing all this blood. Still, we do it by the book. Havoc, I want your men working day and night to clear this debris. I want his body found. Do not take as much as a coffee break until we find this Starbucks destroying son of a bitch! Not like I can take one with the only Starbucks for miles gone. At least now we can eat somewhere different for lunch. What did you just say? I said I'll get on it, sir! Why are you still here? Go find that body! There goes my vacation time. <laughs> I want my snack. Oh, hush. He can't do much with those wounds. Unless you want to waste any more of my time, I'm heading back to Central. I have to report to Father. Ugh, this will be the last time we do an assignment with you. I literally have shit all over my dress. Ah, crap baskets! Major Armstrong. Oh. As I live and breathe, it's my two main brothers, Second Lieutenant Ross and Sergeant Broch. No relations. Sir, you've been ordered to return to the command center. We will be the Elric brothers overwatching. Fucking dog shit! I mean, the Elric brothers will be watching over us. No, goddammit! We will be watching the Elric- Jesus, brother. I get it. I will leave the rest up to you two. Yes. Leave it to Dumbass Brosh and Jackass Ross to protect me. Wait, wait! I got a better one! If you're finished insulting us, I would like to regretfully inform you that there's a woman who memorized the research in the first branch. Why would that be a regret? Because you're a total ass. Excuse me for trying to lighten up the mood. You thought of 300 nicknames just to insult us! That'll be the last time I try to think of someone else. Brosh, right? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you're in a suit of armor. 
I mean, it could be because you're really hollow inside from losing your body to some freak accident causing nothing but your soul to remain as you search for your long-lost body. <laughs> Don't turn off the lights, Mom! I'm scared! I'm sorry. He's been watching the Twilight Zone again. Look, the armor's just a fetish of his. Yeah. Wait, what? What kind of twisted stuff are these two into? We can't get through all of these in one episode! Uh, tight spaces make me nauseous! Miss Cheska, where are you? I see you, Dad. Please, take a picture! Um, brother? Huh? I think somebody's there! Oh, God. <laughs> Holy hell! Is that blood? Oh, wait. I had tomato soup for lunch. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. But how long were you going to leave me buried there underneath all of those books? <sighs> I thought I was going to suffocate. But then I survived by breathing in my own farts and drinking my for own- the love of all things pleasantly scented. You better be Sheska, or I will shove you back underneath those books and leave you to die. I'm Sheska? Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> what I meant to say, you're Sheska from the First Branch, right? The First Branch? I love that place! Ever since I learned to read as a girl, I loved books, but they fired me. I forgot I had a job there, and all I did was read? I'm homeless! If I don't find a job soon, I'll never be able to take care of my sick mother and- yeah, yeah. Look, we don't have all episode for this. There's something I want to ask you. Yes? You remember seeing any research from anyone called Tim Marco? Oh, yeah, I remember it. There were some handwritten notes stuffed into some Playboy mags. It really was there. Which means it burned to the ground. If you want to read them, I should mention that I remember the research word for word. You're, You're serious? serious? Of course. It's how I'm wired. All it takes is for me to read something one time and I know it forever. With payment for my services, I can write it out for you. Whatever is your price, I'll pay it. <laughs> Finally, a break! Ta-da! All of Tim Marco's research. Ah! I bet you didn't think I'd get it done in the same episode, did ya? This is amazing. Wait, something seems off about these notes. It's Tim Marco's ultimate cookbook to making dad good shit. Huh? <laughs> Six cups of milk, four cups of flour, two cups of butter, one ounce of the devil's lettuce. Did we come all the way here just to learn how to make edibles? Ma'am, I have to say, this is pretty fucking terrible! Jinkies, all I did was copy down what I remembered. I'm still getting paid, right? Now, now. I'm sure she copied the research flawlessly, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you weren't sure. Yes, it is an absolutely flawless replication. That's exactly what I thought you said. Thank you very much. We have work to do. Let's head to the library. Good thinking, brother. Everything we need should be there. But I'm just a side character. Oh, I almost forgot Cheska's payment. Here's my registration number and my pocket watch for ID. Withdraw that amount from my annual research grants and make sure Cheska gets it. Yes, sir. I'll get it done. I guess I'll take it down to the state alchemist office. What are my orders after that? I don't know. Go chase a car or something. Try not to trip over your own foot. <sighs> Ass. I heard that. Anyway, see you later, bitches! Why didn't we use those same funds to pay Granny and Winry? The nearest bank wasn't for miles. I'll mail them the funds next episode or something. I wonder how much this asshat makes anyway. <laughs> He makes enough to pay me that?! So what if all of this is some illusion of our imagination? What if we aren't real? What if real isn't real? And what's fake is real? Oh god! My world is collapsing! Yeah, yeah, that's nice. The people with brains are working right now. Speaking of, you plan to find what you're looking for in a cookbook? Alchemy is a powerful art. It can be dangerous if used incorrectly by someone as half-witted as you. In order to prevent that, Alchemist's research is always encrypted. It was designed to look like a recipe to the average person carrying that useless sack they use for a brain. In reality, they are advanced chemical notes. What? Words on paper, in hand, actually mean bigger words. 
You mean this cookbook is encrypted to hide top secret research? Uh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Al. There's a reference here to that good shit. You're thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, it could be a reference to the Green Lion, the Philosopher's Moon. Exactly. You got the manuscripts of Flamel and the books on Lamb Springs Philosopher's Stone? Of course. All right, Al. Let's crack this code. So much research. Can't we just ask Dr. Marco himself about his research? Oh, hell no. Guy's probably too stoned to even remember who we are. Hey, gang! Cheska? Brother, please tell me you actually paid her. I have this rash from a peanut butter sandwich I ate earlier today. Oh, God! It might be gonna fucking Rhea! For the 200th time, you can't get gonorrhea from a sandwich. You're right! It might be AIDS! I swear on my own sanity. If you say one more thing about that sandwich, I am going to scream. Thank you. Because of the money you paid me, I was able to move my mother to a better hospital. See? I told you I paid her. What was that? I said it was no problem at all. Let me guess. You all are still trying to decipher the code. Sh shut up! We're making progress! Aren't you still jobless and homeless? You didn't have to go there. Good insult, Al! You cripple your enemies and attack them when they're weak. Oh, no. I was actually concerned. That's right. Lure them in with a false sense of security. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. You showed me that even a failure like me can be useful. I appreciate it. You're not a failure. Huh? I believe you're a kind-hearted person who was able to commit herself to outstanding talents of reading. In addition, your memory is amazing. Right, brother? Huh? Oh yeah. Sure, she's a total failure. The worst. Ah! Was that someone screaming? Yo! Uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Hughes! Whoa, Eddie boy. I know that's a lot to fit in your mouth. Lieutenant's just fine. I heard from Armstrong that you two were back. And your asses were supposed to tell me the next time you were in town! Last time word got around I was in town, some jackass from the Matrix tried to kill me. Forgive me if I wanted to keep a low profile. I have been busy myself. You should stop Just, for dinner. who is this guy? He knows the Colonel? Episode 1? Yeah. I thought he was only acting like a big shot. That episode. I've been balls deep in paperwork myself. We're still handling the whole Tucker Pokemon situation as well. Uh, oops. I know that was a tough case for you. On top of all this, reports said that some crazy bitch burned down the first branch where all of our cases were stored at. I'm getting fucked by something new every day. Is it a slow, sensual fuck or rough and aggressive? No lube. All bears can contact by a horse behind me while another horse is in front of me. All this time I'm spinning like a hot rotisserie chicken. If only there was some jobless, desperate prick out there that had all those cases memorized. Uh, what? Well... We know someone who can help with that second thing. Me? I know just the jobless, desperate prick right here! I mean, I have read the cases, and I have them memorized- Okay. Right this way, orientation begins on the way there! Welcome to the capitalist work world! Two birds, one stone. Now about this research, little brother. I wasn't sleeping on the job! The library's about to close. It's been ten days! Enough of this shit! God fucking damn it! Huh? Are you peeking first? Why do I have to go first? You're the lady! How about we peek at the same time? We will count to three. One, One two, two, three! three. You asshole, you didn't move! You set on three! Oh no... BITCH! I meant... One, two, three, go! Let's just take a look already. Settle down, kids! It won't help getting angry because you couldn't crack the code. Shut up, you big meanie! We did crack it. That's great! That means we can go home! I've been shitting inside a bucket for days! I haven't showered this entire time! Um... You know the library closes at the end of the day. I have no life, you stupid bitch! Ain't nothing great. Ten days of deciphering an entire fucking cookbook that actually is a fucking cookbook when the real recipe was in the goddamn back title! The recipe for strawberry jam! Only to find out that this is the devil's research. Dr. Marco is right. 
It can't be that bad. The ingredients of a philosopher's stone are human lives. <gasps> Not to mention, you need dozens of lives just to make one stone. Oh no! How could the all-powerful government of a nation do such a horrible thing? <laughs> Please keep this a secret. Tell no one. You're telling me the Elric brothers locked themselves in the room again? You know those teenagers. Once they learn what their buddies can do, they go to town on themselves. In the same room? It's always good to have a helping hand in case one gets tired. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right about this. All those days wasted for nothing. I'd be crushed too. Just thinking about it gives me the bubble guts. Did you two say something? Nothing, nothing at all. all. I will get the truth, even if I have to use the Armstrong method of raw <laughs> penetration. Don't you mean interrogation? No, brother! Brother, you should eat something. Brother, you should eat something. You know I hate it when you do that. I'm sorry. I'm just in a shitty mood. I just found out the way to get our bodies back is to commit mass murder. Mm. I'm starting to think this is God's way of screwing people who try to fuck him. Or her. Al... There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What? I know you're in there, brothers! What the hell does he want? I'm scared! There you are! I heard the whole story! No! <sighs> What's a tragedy, brother? We're sorry. Major wouldn't stop twisting my nipples until I told him the truth. To think the truth would fuck you all that hard. That's it! The truth! Brother? You remember Marco's words? To find answers, you must look at the truth within the truth. Within a truth, within a lie that contains another truth and some unexpected turns. Then some foreshadowing and deaths in the truth and... Oh shit, I've said too much. Maybe he was onto something. It was the same as his research. What you see at first glance is just a small portion of the truth. This episode isn't over yet! As of right now, there are four alchemy research laboratories in Central that have relations to the government. The one Dr. Brother worked at was Research Laboratory 3. I say we stop there. Huh? Al and I went to all the labs in the city. None of them seemed promising. Ah, uh, here! What's this building? That was Research Laboratory 5. It's currently closed as the building isn't considered structurally sound. It's there. How would you know that, fuck boy? It's right next door to a prison. Oh, right. Souls make big red stone. You mean they're using prisoners to make philosopher stones? There'd be plenty of criminals bound for death row. On record, they'd be considered executed. You did say the main ingredients were human sacrifices, but I was hoping you weren't serious. Why are you all looking at me like that? It's not like I made the damn thing myself. This could be big trouble, brother. I'll look into it. Until then, no one speak of this. Yes, yes sir, brother. brother. You two brothers behave. Ah! I know you two are thinking of pulling a fast one. Not on me, brother. We weren't, we weren't. Bullshit. Shit, we were so planning on sneaking in there. Sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> you know, either that guard has the most useless job of guarding an unused building, or this laboratory might not be so closed after all. I'm going with B. Why do I always have to be the one to jump the fence? You try to push up a 200 plus pound suit of armor. <sighs> I guess we have to find another way inside. Over there, brother. Al, wait here. Yeah, I definitely could have fit inside there. Of course you're too big to fit. I know you're gonna naturally worry about me, but please know that as the superior brother that I am more capable of- Screw it, just go. Jerk. Oh, 66! 
Yes, 48? We have some guests. Well, kiss my ass and make me the shit princess. I've been waiting for some action. The lights are on. Not being used my ass. Stupid head. Life and time, bitches! Third time is the charm. Let's do this. Welcome to Voice Acting Tips with Edward Elric. Number one, don't drink Monster when you're trying to record. Ah! Okay. <clears throat> Maybe you're thinking with a gas explosion. And we'll have sweaty sex right in the fewers. Fear. Fear. Oh, fear her. Fear her. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Gorsh. I remember I had a car. <laughs> You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You remembered! <laughs> Yo. And when I do become pure, I'm going to get so much Starbucks. Hell yeah. There'd be plenty of... bleh. Plenty of bleh. Ah! I'm tired. Okay. I've been balls deep. Oh shit. <laughs> nah, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words I don't want to do it. At least now we can eat somewhere different for the zip. Just I'll try to say it properly last time. He was able to compete. All this time, I'm spinning. He's <laughs> <laughs> some big boy words. This is such a horrible line. Some words would be nice. Starbucks? No! Not the Starbucks. <laughs> Not the Starbucks. No!